Hey everybody, so today I decided to do a two-part video because Mother's Day is coming up in the United States. It is Sunday, May 11th, which is only in a couple of days, and I thought I would do a last-minute Mother's Day do-it-yourself um, gift for, you know, your mother or your grandmother or, you know, any kind of woman like that in your family because homemade gifts are a little bit better because, you know, they're from the heart. You take time to do them instead of just going to the store. So... Um, the first part of this video is going to be decorating the jar. This is a mason jar that I got from Walmart. It was only a dollar, like a dollar fifty something. They also have one that's tinted blue, which would look really nice just by itself. So, um, there was a video I watched the other day, um, on coating the inside of a jar with glitter, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But, um, instead of just using one color, I wanted to do a glitter mix. So, I've just got a couple, I've got mainly pinks and purples here, and I'm just going to go ahead and make a mix really fast. I'm going to try and fill this up, uh, which I might need two of these full. So, we'll just see how it goes. So, um, and all of this stuff you're going to be able to get at Walmart, which is really nice. If there's one close to you, you know, go there probably right now and go do it. So, here is what I'm starting off with. It's a cute, almost hot pink, uh, fine glitter, which comes in, like, it's like a little sampler pack. Pack's 12 $2. Really awesome. And I'm just going to add the whole thing. All right. And then I have a couple square glitters, because I just love the way they look. These all came from the same kit, also from Walmart. They're like purple, metallic-y colors. I have a dark purple, light purple, pink, and uh, silver. And I'm just going to use all of these. And I'm going to do um, a teaspoon of all of the colors. Try to, at least some of these I've used before. There's a teaspoon of the silver, the lightest kind of rose pink. And a teaspoon. I just love the way squirt glitters look, especially with this kind of thing. And then next I'm going with the second darkest. Pink. Do a teaspoon. Oops, and get it everywhere. <laughs> I was just going to use the rest of that. And then the darkest purple. And a teaspoon. Really super pretty, like eggplant color. And then I'm going to take this glitter in the color eggplant. Really super awesome ultra fine glitter. And I'm just going to do a teaspoon. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think fine glitter is going to look good because it sticks to the walls of stuff as it is. Let's make it better. And then next I'm going to throw in some gold from Recollections. And I just you know, a little bit of pop. And that one's only going to be a teaspoon as well. And uh, this I did not get at Walmart. I got it at Michael's, but they have also in that little sampler pack that came in this has a beautiful gold color, which go well. And then some pink tulip fashion glitter. This is pretty expensive, but it was the only pink I had left. So I'm just going to add a teaspoon. Beautiful purple coming off of that. And next I'm going to use Recollection, Recollections in Glitz. And it's kind of white. It's not really iridescent. So there it is. Really super nice. And I'm just going to kind of use it so it's not just purple. If you understand what I mean. And it's got a beautiful iridescence. Yeah, it's gorgeous. 
add, I'm going to add two teaspoons of this because it's ultra fine. There it goes. Right. And then the last thing I want to add are these large gold dots. Are they're not gold. They're definitely iridescent. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think I'm just going to add a teaspoon of this. Oh, sorry. And then the last thing I add are these little spangles. They're not going to show up really well, but they're these little... Um, iridescent flowers and it's an eighth of a teaspoon just going to add the whole thing now I'm going to take my trusty pencil which is hopefully mix it all together without making a bigger mess and then kind of see where we're at um, this mix is pretty similar to one that I did yesterday, which was pink and gold. But I think these colors would look great for Mother's Day. Alright, so that's all mixed together. looks pretty good. A little too gold, but it's okay. Um, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more of this eggplant glitter. Probably another teaspoon, I'd say. And so I'm going to mix it yeah, it's a little bit better. Nice and darker. Alright. So, now we're just kind of going to put that mix to the side. And then I'm going to take my mason jar. And I'm going to use, sorry about that, this uh, like craft sponge. It comes in a lot of paint kits, which I also got from Walmart. And then I'm going to use just some Elmer's glue. The jar is clear. Uh, I think you can use, you know, whatever color. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the glue and pour a liberal amount in it. See that? And then I'm just going to take this brush. You can also use a regular paint brush. And just kind of going to, you know, smooth it as even as possible. And then just kind of fast because um, I want to do this so I can put the glitter in here before this dries. I'm just going to pour in some more just all around it. And again, just sort of just fill it up. Um, I don't know I don't think I'm going to coat the bottom. That's fine. Um, something that would also be good to use is Mod Podge, which you can get um, at a lot of different places. I just didn't have any. It's what I had laying around the house. So that looks about good. And um, you can't really tell, but it's already gone pretty tacky. Kind of looking at it on the walls and make sure it's nice and evenly coated. Okay, that looks pretty good. I set my brush to the side and I'm just going to take my glitter mix and pour, I don't know, half of that in. I'm just going to pour the whole thing in there. gorgeous and then I'm just going to go ahead and replace the lid and then I'm just going to shrink it around I'm 
Alright, so here's what it looks like. Um, it's kind of the problem is the pink, I guess, didn't get mixed in too well, so it's kind of here and there. And the glue's thicker there. That's okay because it dries clear. But um, I kind of like that too, that's not all the same, it's different. And so, there it is, and I'm just going to pour the excess out, taking the lid off, which there's still quite a bit of excess. I didn't really need that much. I'm just going to pour it back in here. Oh yeah, I didn't need that much at all, but it's good to coat it. And all I'm going to do is... Um, just let it dry completely, completely. So uh, if you have overnight, that would be great. But you can also, um, for about an hour or so. And you can also do a second coat if you'd like, which I might end up doing. But there it is. And stay tuned for the second part where we are going to fill it with something.